All right, on to the next challenge. Got my radiator installed in the position that it's going to be. It's pretty thick. It's a Walker radiator uh, for a Model A. Real nice radiator. I got a great deal on it, so I want to try to use it. Um, being that the 8BA is so close up front here, tight fit, um, it's hard to run a mechanical fan. I really want to run a mechanical fan, so I'm trying to figure out just how to do that. And this is kind of what I've come up with. I'm filming as I try it out, so we'll see. If you guys are looking at it, it probably worked. Okay, so what I have here is a fan assembly. It's got the wide pulley on it. Um, it says 21A on it, on the back here, uh, but the fan bolts on. Um, and, and normally it's supposed to slide in under here like that, and then the fan goes on, but there's just not enough room in the pulleys, uh, there's just not enough room there. Okay. And then I'd have to run a second belt, which the pulley is way out here, so it would even have to be, it'd have to be out farther like that. Because there's actually another piece that goes in there like that first. But it's just too far. It wasn't gonna work for me. So I was trying trying to figure it out. Searched on the internet, couldn't find a good solution that would work for me. So what I did is I thought, well, what if I turn that over? See the fan. Even though it's a small fan, it's really tight between the pulleys and that filler neck right here. Uh, just like not a lot of wiggle room there. So if I turn this upside down, get this in here like this, trim it, I might have enough room there. It's not fully done yet. You can see it's pretty tight right there, but it's getting closer. So what I did to make that work is I took this part off. Disassembled the fan pulley assembly. Took this part off. And I ground down the outer lip so that it would sit flush on my manifold. And I can put a plate across there and bolt it in. I'm gonna have to trim this a little bit because the drum that drum of the pulley is hitting that, keeping it from going in all the way. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Is I'm going to trim, trim this probably flush. Should probably trim it flush with this. So stand by. Okay, I've trimmed the threaded portion here, and uh, if you can see here. There's the bolts that hold this shaft in right here. Well, there's some grooves cut in the shaft so that the shaft can't move forward and back. What I did is I took those bolts out and I'm able to move that shaft in and out. You can see the grooves now. <clears throat> so the stock position is about, it's about there, which I actually have decent clearance now, but uh, I think I'm going to move it back so that my pulleys line up. These pulleys right here. Uh, I think about right there is lined up, so I'll have to trim those, round those out inside on that shaft a little bit so when I tighten this clamp back up it'll stay there and it'll still give a little bit of room there. But uh, I do have clearance now, which is great. And it looks like the fan belts are gonna line up. The height is okay. Um, try to get you a better view here. Up here, this filler neck is hitting a little bit. Um, but some of these, one of these blades is not tracking the same. Uh, but I'm gonna have to figure that out and uh, bend that blade back to where they all track the same. And I, I mean, let me grab one. 
I don't know, that's probably three eighths of an inch maybe. Maybe up to a half inch, I'll have to measure it. <clears throat> but I may, depending on my belt placement, right here on this end of this clamp, I could trim that just slightly also. I may do that, we'll see. All right, so I took off the fan and I got the blades tracking correctly, uh, evenly. Um, I made myself a little U-bracket to mount uh, to mount the fan bracket to the intake. Got a new nut. I am still going to have to modify. There's little grooves in the shaft that the bolts go through. Well, they're farther back now, so I'm going to have to regroove the shaft. But I think I have the fan situation squared away because I have about a quarter inch from the closest point of the fan to the radiator. Uh, I think that's about right and there's belt clearance and the pulleys are lined up with each other. Uh, so I think I've got that that done. I'm still going to have to figure out the bracket to put the generator on the head side so I can still have a generator. Uh, I have my original, the, well, the Walker radiator was originally set up for a Model A and I got a great deal on it used so I took it down to the radiator shop and had him modify it for the flathead and he did a really nice job putting putting the inlets uh, on the top and then the uh, outlets on the bottom. The guy did a really nice job so that's going to work really good. And uh, been working on the transmission cross member but uh, that's for another update so thanks for watching see ya bye